Hello guys, this is Adam. Welcome to Adam Lab. I hope that you are doing good. So I will be talking about Unreal Engine and I have some updates to say about it. Now it works. If you are holding on getting an M1 chip Mac because Unreal Engine is not working, now it's working. With that being said, if that's what you came to know, here it is. And a couple of notes before you leave, it works just fine. Yet there is a certain version that you need to be working with. And that version is 4.19.2. For, um, for some reason, that's the most compatible version yet at the moment until we have a very, let's say, stable version that we can use or at least a version that is, suppo that is supported by Epic Games to be running on the M1 chip. So if that's what you came for, here's your information. Don't forget to sub and like as well. But let's get into more details a little bit. I will be doing some testing so you would see it for yourself and I will be explaining more things right now as you see in the screen i do have 4.19.2 and i do have 4.25.4 and i do have 4.24.3 and literally what i did i tried almost every version there starting from 4.10.4 going to 4.26.2 zero which is the most recent version and all these versions none of them worked aside from 4.19.2 now would that be the same case with you i am not sure it seems like every mac has let's say a different behavior in that instance but at least what worked for me is this so you can definitely give that a try and see how you can work with it now i cannot add another version i believe because i don't have enough space since this mac is only 256 i did return the one terabyte i did return my 16 inch macbook pro as well i know this is insane you're four thousand uh, dollars or above that 16 inch yeah it used to have 64 gigabyte of ram the highest graphic that was being sold at the, at the time which is uh, i believe 5508 gigabyte or 5600 and with one terabyte of storage i did return it to Apple store today <laughs> believe it or not more on that will be coming on a later video to understand why I did that and what I will be doing next you will definitely be understanding that in the video that will be coming after this so definitely um, watch that if you are curious but aside from that let's go ahead and launch 4.19.2 to see how it does work so right now we are at 70 percent going to 73 percent 83 85 86 87 90 percent and so on and we are now at 100 percent so what we will do we will run this vehicle project and it's a demo project and this project i would say is fairly um uh, heavy and I will not build it. I have not built this project. It's only, let's say, well, not built, constructed. I think it's the more appropriate word in this instance. So here we have it. Let's go ahead and show the FPS. And then after we do, we will just go ahead and click play. Now with that, I will make it um, not so loud. So here we go. We are now playing and getting stable 70 frames per second as you can see right here and we are hitting 73. Keep in mind I am recording the screen right now which means since I am recording the screen we are getting a performance hit of uh, 10 frames. If I stop the recording and I have tried that before I believe a week before now and I was getting 80 frames per second, which means we're definitely getting whatever um, frames or performance out of the device as a whole. And then what I will do right now, I will run another project and we will see how that project would run. And then after that, for the most part, with the testing side of things, we are done. And this is another vehicle project, but this one is silent and it's working just fine. Let's see how much frames we will be getting if we are using that. So that would be 
Dun, 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 dun. We are getting around 90 frames. And again, just opening and stuff, adding shading, adding lighting, whatever that you need to do, it will work just fine. And closing the project is simply as clicking Command Q and you will be good to go. I don't know what happened. It seems like stuff are being optimized more and more um, over the time. Now, let's say we want to open the most recent one that I have, which is um, the 4.25. I will open open it it will take a while for it to pop up on the screen and then when it pops up it will get to 18 percent and then after when it gets to 18 percent it will not be working for some reason i don't know why it always has been like this and it always worked this way for me so we are at 18 percent who knows maybe a miracle would happen and it would bypass that and that miracle is being recorded right now but i don't think so we are stuck right now at 18 percent and i don't think it will go above that so if if you want to run Unreal Engine, download the version 4.19.2 or at least try the versions that are there in order to know which version works for you. And as you can see right now, I did not click anything, simply it did click itself and if I did click something, you will definitely hear my keyboard because again, the sound of the keyboard is being recorded. So. With that, what I will say is try downloading the versions and see which version for you and then go from there. And, uh, if you are excited to know why I did return my 16 inch MacBook Pro or if you want to speculate, you're more than welcome to do so in the comments. And uh, sorry for not publishing for a week. I was honestly just not in the mood for sharing. I, I took two week <laughs> hiatus just sharing every single day and I I really i wasn't sick i wasn't tired it, it was just you know work being busy with work and at the same time i just didn't feel like recording and this is a mere hobby to me so please understand that but aside from this uh, i definitely re did record that video like a week ago and when i did so it was without sound and hopefully sound is being recorded right now um that's simply what happened at the time but then after a week i was like you know what i should make a video about it and actually i got excited to make videos kind of when I did return my 16 inch MacBook Pro today which definitely that should tell you something but you can speculate in the comments and uh, hopefully I will see you tomorrow if not I will just see you next week so aside from that thank you so much for watching take care do not for, uh, forget to sub and all that fun stuff um this was Adam and I wish you gentlemen a very wonderful day adios